Welcome to Health Science 3D. Here you'll find only high quality 3D medical animations. Everything about human anatomy, health, and how your body works. Subscribe, leave a comment, and share with a friend, because this is where health education begins. Every two and a half minutes, someone in America dies from lung cancer. In Canada, it claims more lives than breast, colon, and prostate cancers combined. But here is what could change everything, understanding how this disease develops, spreads, and how modern medicine fights back. Today, we are taking you inside the human body to witness the complete journey of lung cancer. From the moment a single healthy cell transforms into a deadly tumor, all the way through cutting-edge treatments that are saving lives right now. The beginning, when normal cells turn deadly. Your lungs contain over 300 million tiny air sacs called alveoli. Each one is lined with cells that have worked perfectly for years, maybe decades. But then something goes wrong. A single cell, damaged by cigarette smoke, radon gas, asbestos, or even just bad luck with genetics, begins to change. This transformation does not happen overnight. The cell's DNA, its instruction manual, gets corrupted. Instead of following the normal rules of growth, division, and death, this rogue cell starts multiplying uncontrollably. It ignores the stop signals that keep healthy cells in check. Stage 1, the silent invasion. In the earlier stage, this abnormal growth is still small, less than 3 centimeters across, and confined to your lung. You feel nothing. There are no symptoms. No cough, no pain, no shortness of breath. This is why lung cancer is so deadly, it grows in silence. The tumor is now establishing its own blood supply, sending out chemical signals that trick your body into growing new blood vessels directly to feed it. This process, called angiogenesis, gives the cancer everything it needs to grow larger and stronger. Stage 2, breaking boundaries. As the tumor grows beyond 3 centimeters, it may start invading nearby lymph nodes. These are your body's filtering stations, designed to trap harmful substances. But cancer cells are clever. They learn to hide from your immune system and use these same lymph nodes as highways to travel to other parts of your body. You might start noticing symptoms now. A persistent cough that will not go away. Coughing up blood. Chest pain that worsens with deep breathing. Unexplained weight loss. Your body is trying to tell you something is seriously wrong. Stage 3, the spread accelerates. The cancer has now spread to lymph nodes on the opposite side of your chest, or to nearby organs like your heart, esophagus, or major blood vessels. This is locally advanced lung cancer, and it represents a critical turning point. Cancer cells are now breaking away from the main tumor and entering your bloodstream. They travel like microscopic seeds, looking for new places to grow. Your liver, bones, brain, and adrenal glands become potential targets. Stage 4, metastasis, the final stage. This is metastatic lung cancer. The original tumor has successfully planted new colonies throughout your body. Secondary tumors, called metastases, are now growing in distant organs. This stage accounts for why lung cancer is so lethal. By the time many people are diagnosed, the disease has already spread far beyond the lungs. The treatment revolution. But here is where the story changes dramatically. Modern lung cancer treatment is not just one approach. It is a coordinated attack using multiple weapons. Surgery remains the gold standard for early-stage lung cancer. Surgeons can remove the tumor and affected lymph nodes, potentially curing the disease if caught early enough. Robotic surgery now allows for more precise removal with smaller incisions and faster recovery. Cure therapy uses powerful drugs that travel through your bloodstream, hunting down cancer cells wherever they hide. These medications interfere with the cancer cell's ability to divide and multiply, while chiotherapy affects healthy cells too. Causing side effects, newer drugs are more targeted and less toxic. 
Radiation therapy uses high energy beams to destroy cancer cells with pinpoint accuracy. Modern techniques like stereotactic body radiation therapy can deliver massive doses of radiation to tumors while sparing healthy tissue. Targeted therapy represents a revolution in cancer treatment. These drugs attack specific genetic mutations that drive cancer growth. If your tumor has an EGFR mutation, ALK rearrangement, or ROS1 fusion, targeted drugs can shut down these specific pathways, often with fewer side effects than traditional cure therapy. Immunotherapy unleashes your own immune system against cancer. Drugs like pembrolizumab and nivolumab remove the breaks that cancer puts on your immune response, allowing your T cells to recognize and destroy cancer cells they previously ignored. The numbers that matter in the United States, about 238,000 people are diagnosed with lung cancer each year. In Canada, that number is approximately 30,000. The five-year survival rate has improved dramatically, from 15% in the 1990s to over 25% today, with some early-stage patients seeing survival rates above 60%. Prevention and early detection. 85% of lung cancer cases are linked to smoking, but 15% occur in people who never smoked. Radon exposure, secondhand smoke, air pollution, and genetic factors all play roles. Low-dose CT screening for high-risk individuals has revolutionized early detection. If you are between 50 and 80 years old with a significant smoking history, this screening can catch lung cancer when it is still curable. Hope for the future. Liquid biopsies can now detect circulating tumor DNA in blood samples potentially catching cancer recurrence months before it shows up on scans. CART cell therapy, which has shown remarkable success in blood cancers, is being adapted for solid tumors like lung cancer. Artificial intelligence is helping doctors analyze CT scans more accurately than ever before, and personalized medicine based on your tumors. Genetic profile is becoming the standard of care. The journey from that first abnormal cell to advanced lung cancer may seem terrifying, but understanding this process empowers you to take action, whether through prevention, early detection, or cutting-edge treatment. We have more tools than ever to fight this disease. Remember, every case is different, and treatments continue to improve rapidly. If you or someone you love faces this diagnosis, work closely with an oncology team that understands the latest advances in lung cancer care. This video is for educational purposes only. If you experience any concerning symptoms, please consult a medical professional immediately. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more health insights and 3D medical animations.